And thanks for keeping us here on ABC 36. I'm meteorologist Jordan Smith on this stormy Sunday afternoon. It's been uh, just a stormy day. Those storms started in northern Kentucky early this morning and then continue to progress their way down towards the south and east. We're setting at 71 degrees here in Lexington for the time being and the winds are calm. But you can see temperatures where we've been a little bit without some rain, upper 60s to low 70s. But down south and east where they're still dealing with the mainly cloudy skies and some showers that just moved out, they're into the low to mid 60s. But let's look at these regional temperatures. Look back to our west. It's 85 degrees right now in St. Louis, 88 in Jonesboro, 84 in Jackson. Those 80s, we probably won't get that high as far as the mid to upper 80s, but those 80s are on the way for us for the mid to lighter parts of the week ahead. Now here's the current look. You can see this big station boundary that is just setting up to the north and then way far west of us. That's going to allow these waves of showers and thunderstorms continue moving underneath it for the next really week. We have with only a little break midweek. Here locally, still a little bit of a light shower in parts of Knox, Whitley, and McQuarrie counties. That'll begin to get on out. Then we focus our attention back to the west. Severe thunderstorms from Bowling Green back to Paducah and down to Nashville. Those are on a track here to start heading towards the east, but I think they lose some of their steam by the time they get to us here in central and eastern Kentucky. Still, we could likely see some scattered showers and thunderstorms once again by later tonight into the overnight, and then we'll catch a break into Monday morning. Here's those showers and thunderstorms. I think the best chance is near the Lake Cumberland area, parts of southern Kentucky. Those will continue to move on. Here's tomorrow morning out the door to work in school, upper 50s to low 60s, and then scattered showers and thunderstorms back into the area. We have another severe weather chance on the table for tomorrow. Timbers into the low 70s area-wide. Those scattered thunderstorms will continue. Here they are. You can really see those pinks and those blacks. Even here, parts of eastern Kentucky. Here's 1 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Continue to press off to southern Kentucky there by 4 o'clock on Monday. We'll catch a break into late Monday afternoon to the early evening. But here is that second round that moves through late tomorrow night into the wee hours of our Tuesday morning. So that is for two different rounds of strong thunderstorms on the way. And just in this evening, the Storm Prediction Center has increased uh, parts of our viewing area to a level two risk of severe weather. That is a slight risk here in the yellow. The remainder of us are still in that marginal risk for damage and winds, heavy rain, some large hail, and yes, even an isolated tornado threat is on the table for our Monday. Here are those threats breaking down one by one. Tornadoes and large hail being in the low category, but not zero. Damaging winds and flood and rains a little bit elevated. These storms have a lot of um, moisture to work with, so I think that flooding issue is on the table. So there's the scattered thunderstorms into Tuesday. One thing that does look good though, Wednesday is looking great, near 80 and sunshine. Thursday now is also looking good with a mix of sun and clouds and near 80. It's once we get into Friday and then once again into Saturday, we're likely dealing with additional rounds of storms. And once again, some of those could be strong. So that's something we'll have to watch for. Our future cash rainfall does show still a good amount of rain falling across the area, two to four inches by Saturday. So again, we need to watch those higher creeks and streams. And then as far as the temperature goes, we're going to remain above average right on through the remainder of the week. Tonight, 62 scattered thunderstorms around tomorrow on our Monday. Scattered thunderstorms, again, not an all-day event, likely tomorrow morning and then again late tomorrow night. Here's that seven-day forecast, which will show the thunderstorms tomorrow into Tuesday. Here's that break on Wednesday and Thursday. Can't rule out an isolated thunderstorm on Thursday. I think Wednesday and Thursday both are dry. And then here we go again. Cue up additional rounds of thunderstorms by the end and weekend of this coming week.